progress as an organization. You never know what to expect. You know, you're, you're going into a new arena. And with that, there's a host of new problems that that occur. And, uh, you know, it, it was frightening a little bit just of all the uh, things that you, you thought about that you that could come up with the last second. There's obviously a lot of build up to it. And it's a unique situation. And I guess I didn't exactly know how it would, uh, how it would be. You know, I got to see the rink before and everything, but trying to envision it full and, and with, you know, packed with fans and everything. It seems like a really enthusiastic crowd. In my opinion, it feels a lot better than than what it felt like in, in, in uh, last year, so. Here, it still smells like a brand new car. The Mullet Arena. All the fans, 4,700 were given mullets. The stands, the crowd is like right on top of the players. I mean, this is, this is gonna be a fun environment watching them walk in and just you could just feel the energy in, inside that building the enthusiasm and the fans are engaged and there's chance arizona let's hear it for your coyote we are underway at mullet arena ready up up Sends it right point to Stetcher. Now to the left of the net, tip, they score! And Christian Fisher is the answer to a trivia question. Yeah, I guess a little jealous of Fish that he scored it. Um, I know going into the game, guys were guys were saying they want to score the first one and go down in history and mull it or, you know. Fish probably out of everybody gives the most to, you know, on and off the ice. He deserved to score that. I think there's a little karma there for sure. Over to Dubois. Looking to beat the buzzer. Dylan, wrist shot, save for Melka. The first NHL game in the history of the mullet will go to three on three overtime. Here's a breakaway for Pierre Luc Dubois. Dubois coming in with Wheeler, the shot, score. Blake Wheeler has ended this hockey game 32 seconds into overtime. Veggie deserved better. I think he, you know, he played really well tonight, so I kind of feel bad for him positively. Energy was great of the, the crowd. I think that's fun. It's exciting to play games when the fans are into it and it's loud and you know it energizes you so the fans make the difference when the fans are energetic like they were today that's you you, you feed off that i know for a fact i hit a couple guys and you hear the crowd you know kind of that just gives you a little you know a little extra energy to get, get back on the forward back check and and uh goals whatever it is i think it's, it's a fun place to kind of get the crowd to get and get behind you We're at the start of a rebuild, and when you're going through the start of a rebuild, there's a lot of pain to be experienced. Losing sets in and has an ugly ugly face to it. So for, for us to be able to experience that win at home early in the season and get that W underneath us, it was a great feeling. Cross ice to Michelli, right circle to cross the shot. He scores! It's just a great atmosphere in that building. It was loud, it was an intense game, it was an exciting game. Back to Keller, outside edge of the left circle to Richie, tees it up, he scores! Montour shoots, bouncing in front, and now a shot by Kachuk, handled by Vomelka. There's so many lead changes in the National Hockey League these days, you never get comfortable as a GM until the final horn goes. So right about when the final horn goes, that's when I, I felt like we were going to have it. Ahead now to Keller, he's got the empty net in front of him, he scores! Hard-working, gutsy effort by the Arizona Coyotes, and they're rewarded tonight against the Florida Panthers. Super cool to get that first W in Mullet. Um, it felt great. I know it felt great for everybody in the room. That team picture that we have in the room is priceless. I, I want to actually get that framed. I want to put that somewhere. I think we're all excited to get on the road here and, and then come home and, and get to play at the mullet some more. I think as a hockey parent, you put a lot of time on the road with your kids you know, to get them, I guess, where their talent takes them and their love of the game takes them. When you were able to announce that to your son that you're you're going to be staying for the whole year in the NHL, is uh, 
is a is probably a, something that they'll never ever forget. Going in the, the long journey, we need to take it one day at a time, right? And for that, we need to make sure we live in the present and we enjoy every day of it. Every day we have, we have an opportunity to be in that lake is a privilege. So Guns would like you to come here in front. Grab a seat. In, a, in our long journey, there's a lot of great days and I think it's, a, it's one of those great days. So I will uh, let the Gunter family talk to their son right now. Good morning, Dylan. Go ahead. We just wanted to say that we love you and we're proud of you and everything that you've accomplished so far. Congratulations, buddy. You made the NHL. Nice. <laughs> We're all talking about brotherhood and family and how important it is. And uh, as a dad uh, of guys are almost the age of guns, I think it's a hell of a privilege to have the opportunity to announce his son. He will play in the he will stay in the NHL for all year. So thanks for the Gunter family to, uh, to participate and uh, congratulations to Guns. Congrats, buddy. It just kind of brings it back, right? Like everybody's got their own memories and experiences of their first times being up in the league and a super cool situation for him to have his family zoom in and kind of tell him that he's staying and he's made it and kind of got the chills talking about it right now because I'm just started thinking about you know the first time I ever realized that it was coming true too so um, yeah it was cool to be a part of it. There's an empathy that goes on about everybody having that same experience in the room becoming an NHL player and I think when you do that, you know, you, you bond your group a little bit more and you become more of a family. Dad's trip is a really cool thing. We get to bring our dads on the road with us. I think it's just a really awesome experience, not only for the dad, but also for the player to have, whether that be your dad, mom, brother, get to kind of experience and, and see the, the lifestyle and just kind of see what you go through on a day-to-day -day basis on the road. It was a special moment for the dads, but they did a great job. They, they wore their belt buckles and cowboy hats and coyotes and jerseys with pride and they were everywhere. Could have put a lot of money actually on him doing it. I don't know why, but I just had a, I had that feeling that uh, he was going to end up being the guy. He did, he did a great job. Yeah, I got the boys all fired up. I truly believe it. The players were just so psyched up to play in front of their dads in the NHL. They didn't want to put on a bad performance, and they were going to fight to the end, and uh, and they did. Stab, maybe a two-on-two two sprung over the line. Kraus shoots and he scores. Lawson Kraus. I think, you know, our coaching staff did a great job of bringing uh, the dads into the dressing room, letting them start an announcement, high fives on the way out. The dads felt like they were, they were involved the whole time. And, and let's be honest, no son wants to go out there and play a bad game in front of their dad. Schmaltz will bring it in, he shoots, he scores! To the middle, Nietzsche scores! He's in front, shot! Oh, we got another yeah. piece of that! Out of the corner, to the front, pass, save, and a rebound! Oh, Mamelka, what a sequence! As of now, with a shot to the front, they score! Loose in front, and Bukestad puts it home! Jarvis 
Harris with a shot, and it burns. He shoots. Third shot out of his career. All on the road. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> Before we head out, I want to get everybody's phone number. If somebody scores a goal, I can send them a thumbs up sign. That's what I like about this stuff. Have a great trip. I'm so happy for you. Oh. I know for my dad it was a really cool experience and it's, it's something that both uh, him and I were we're going to remember for the rest of our lives. There's the thing about being on the road with your teammates is that you get to spend more time and, and you get to know each other better. We've been bonded, we've been tested on the road, we've been in the grind. I'd be lying if it wasn't, if I said it wasn't more physically demanding than, you know, being at home. Liam O'Brien, big hit in the corner. In a way, it's been, I think it's been really good for our team. For the big win to wrap up this two week, six game road trip. It could even be a blessing that we got to do this early in the year because this is a great chance for, for guys to get to know each other, for guys to, to be back out and having fun with each other again. We've learned to, to sneak out uh, wins on the road and points in the road and, and you know do it when sometimes we're tired and uh, we've been on the road for a long time. To the front and a stop rolling puck and it's in! The Coyotes have scored in the final minute! And the Arizona Coyotes have come up with an improbable comeback victory here in D.C. tonight. It does show the pride of our team and the character of our team and we're down 2 nothing, and we just stayed with it and kept going and scored big goals. And I know when to win. Good job tonight. Um, power play, PK, both awesome. Veg, we could give this to you every night. Um, but Brownie. Oh! Yeah! Bear has been doing a, a really good job uh, manage, uh, managing everybody through this. And... He's under pressure. He needs you. If it's not, you want to score. Yeah. Yeah. As much as we want F3 to go back door. If you don't help F1 when he's in trouble, we won't have the puck. They think that the, the coaches do a good job of making a, a partnership with the players and getting a buy-in from a, a player, you know, uh, with these under these circumstances is huge. Do a suggestion? Yeah. Uh, one on O, and then if you score it's a two on O, and then if you score it's a three on O. But if you miss the two on O or the three on O, you go back to one. Yeah. The first team to uh, I, hit, I did one, that. Two, yeah, we'll do a four, scoring game for four minutes and we'll do it down. Good? Need the tiebreaker. Kells, that was a mighty effort to tiebreaker. That's just part of the, the culture that uh, we're trying to build. Same guys, same guys. You need to play defense. Both of you. Play defense, White. You don't have the puck, you box out. Bears huge on playing the game with a high work ethic. You know, playing the game hard and, and doing the right things. In the game, it will be important to read on F1. If F1 is in full possession, there's no need for you, the F3 to go help him on the strong side. He will go back door. You know, detail is a big thing, and um, I think uh, we've been really good in those areas. That's it. The Arizona Coyotes win it 4-1. to one. 12 years of frustration on Long Island for this Coyotes franchise has come to an end. They put forth the superior efforts in front of their dads, and they beat the reigning Metro Division champion Carolina Hurricanes 4 to nothing. I think everybody on this team is, is looking forward to getting back in front of our fans and uh, getting a chance to hopefully put up some more wins at Molitor. Milestone in the car on the way, hundred thousand miles. <laughs> you guys were just here for history.